lately right and I was thinking hmm what if I did a cooking video while doing a story time I might make this a series on my channel where I cook and I tell a story time or talk about some bullshit that's going on in the world today today we will be making Rasta pasta with jerk chicken uh, never did this before <laughs> so this might go bad I got this recipe slash guidance of how to cook this shit from Moni menu go check her out I already started cleaning the chicken I also boiled the pasta all right, so since we're gonna be cooking today, I guess the story time could be about the time that I ate an edible. Yeah, or I was tricked into eating an edible. All right, this took place in college, right? Of course, of all fucking places. Now, here's the thing about me. I'm not into drugs. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What? I could have sworn yeah, you I did know. drugs. Aren't you yeah. Caribbean? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't want you yeah. anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I'm not into smoking weed and shit. Like, even though I'm from Flatbush, and if you don't know, Flatbush, Brooklyn, fucking gully town. I never partook in, partake, whatever, into that stuff. Why? Well, at first, <laughs> my first excuse was because I was playing basketball. I didn't want my lungs to be fucking, you know. <laughs> I didn't want to fuck up my lungs and shit. Ah, ah, ah. Then I stopped playing basketball. And I still didn't do it because, yeah, I just, I just can't. Because weed, I feel like weed makes you like very calm, laxadady, laxadady. I don't know how to speak. And I'm already like that. So imagine me smoking weed and then being in a weed coma. Nothing will get done. Absolutely nothing will get done. Not even me getting up to take a piss. I would be too lazy. I don't know. But for some people, they say weed makes you, um, it makes them more focused on shit. I don't, I don't believe that shit at all. It was February last year. I was somewhere. I think I was hanging out with two of my friends. But then I get a message from good old Ricky. Ah, oh, Ricky. You guys will meet Ricky one day. But just one fact about Ricky. He is a dickhead, an asshole, a cunt of a person. Oh God. Basically how campus was, how the campus was, it separated into like three sections. One section is the east side, then it's like central campus, then it's the west side. The west side is known as like the lit side on campus. But at the time I was at central campus with my friends Kiara and Khadija, but I was got a message from Ricky who was on west side talking about to come to west side. And I was like, why should I come to west side? And he was like, it's a surprise. Now listen, if there's one thing you'll learn from this story, if you ever meet Ricky and he says there's a surprise, do not trust it because it's not going to be organized, nor is it going to be fun. I walked to Westside, mind you, like I said, it was February in this upstate New York. It was fucking freezing. Snow all over the ground. I get to Westside and I go in the room. The Ricky, other friend, Emmanuel, Jeffrey. I get in there, right? Off rip, off rip, I already see niggas eyes like, I'm like, oh god, what, what is the surprise? Like, what, what is this surprise? Like, what could this possibly be? Man, I don't know, I don't remember if it was Emmanuel or Jeffrey who ends up going into somewhere and takes out a Ziploc bag, just like this one. And I get the Ziploc bag, and it's a fucking big, thick ass brownie. Talking about some, this is for you. I never did drugs. I never smoked before, never. And mind you, an edible is the next level above smoking. You're supposed to smoke first when you do drugs, guys, okay? Not go fucking skip to a fucking edible. All right, uh, the jerk chicken, you know what I mean? Put a little, put a little browning on it. Jerk sauce, OJ's favorite. Real talk, I went to OJ crib one time, nigga chucked the whole thing, bro, in like 30 seconds, it's crazy. Yeah, or we'll put it in a plate and cut. I'm sorry, I don't have a cutting board. Try to use a plate. Cut the onions and the pepper. So here's the verdict, y'all. In the video, and when Moni is cooking the shit, she says to get green peppers, red peppers, orange peppers, green onions, and garlic. I got the green peppers. I got the red peppers. There was no fucking orange peppers. Um, there was no green onions, so I had to get regular onions. I got the garlic though. 
I told y'all, this might go very bad. Keep tuning in to see. So yeah, y'all, this is a big ass edible. I never did drugs before in my life. And here I am with an edible in my hand. And then on top of that, these motherfuckers is telling me to eat the whole thing because they ate the whole thing. What? Not if you don't know and you don't consume drugs, good. Good boy slash or girl. If you're a first timer, you should not be eating the whole edible. So my dumb ass was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm in college. Let's experience. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I cut up all the garlic, onions, peppers, whatever. Now from the future, it seems to me that I put the jerk chicken in the wrong thing because I didn't have the correct pan, so it didn't cook properly. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. I ended up putting it in the oven, and then my problems were solved. So please do not roast me, all right? Do not roast me. Like how the chicken got roasted in this. <laughs> it got roasted on the outside, but on the inside, it was fucking still not cooked. So. Yeah, just bear with me guys. My first time here. My first time. <sighs> so yeah, I eat the edible, right? I didn't eat a piece of it. I ate the whole thing, bro. They made me eat the whole thing. Cause they ate the whole thing. I was like, fine, you know, let me not let me fall for the peer pressure and eat the whole edible. And you know, you know how people be like, they eat an edible and then they be like, man, this shit is nothing, it's not gonna come. Nigga, I am an anxious person. I was waiting for that shit to come. I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then at one point, we had to leave the room, me and Ricky, to go to another dorm to see our other friend Isis. So I'm walking, and then for one minute, just for one small minute, for one small minute as we're walking, I'm like, man, this edible ain't shit, man. This shit ain't hit yet. I ain't fucking tripping. Man, this shit ain't nothing, nigga. As soon as I said that, as soon as I thought that, bro, That shit hit like 10 bricks, bro. I'm sitting there. I'm trying to stand straight. I can't stand straight. I'm all. I'm a little pim and shit. I'm like, yo, bro. What is going on? So we get to the other dorm. We get to Isis and her boyfriend. Now I'm starting to get hot. I got on a whole jacket because it's 20 degrees outside. But I'm hot as hell. Ricky is also high as hell, so he can't help me. And Isis can't help me either, because she's also high. But I'm off of edible. He smoked, because she's smart. But I'm sitting there like, yo. I'm bent over a table like this, trying to catch my breath. I'm out of breath and shit. I can't stand up straight for nothing. We was about to go walk back to the room that we was in previously, and I could not walk. I would be walking like... <coughs> I fucked it up a little bit. It's okay, cause we still got pasta to make. At this point, we trying to wait to go into the other dorm cause the door was locked to get to the dorm. I'm laying down on the floor, I can't get up. Ice is trying to make me stand up, I can't stand up. Yeah, look at how black this chicken looks. I think I fucked up. Yes, it's a Spider-Man plate. Mind your business, all right? Mind your business. Yeah, yeah, I was gone at this point. Like, I was gone as hell. I remember going into somebody's room and was trying so hard to be normal. For you, those of you who've gotten high for the first time, have you ever been like so gone and shit that like you just don't want to move, you don't want to do anything, you just want to stand still and try to act normal as hell? And that was me. But after that, I was with Ricky and Isis. And then for a second, I had thought that they left. Even though the whole time I found out afterwards that they were in the room, the whole time. But because I was so fucking off it, I didn't know where they were. So then I left the room to try to look for them to see where they were at. Couldn't find them, obviously, because they were in the fucking room the whole time. Then I started hallucinating. I called my friend Kiara. Because mind you, before like, I went to Westside, I was in their room. 
So I was like, I called Kiara. I was like, I said something about me being high as shit and I need to come to your room because I forgot to mention too, I'm on the west side. My dorm that I lived in was on the east side. And I know even when I was smacked that I could not walk all the way to the east side, especially how cold it was. I was gonna pass out. Niggas was gonna have to call university police because I would have gone missing. I would have probably been laying in the grass somewhere, fucking passed out and I would have got in trouble because there was weed in my system. I was also roommates with a weird white boy who never left his room and had no friends. So if I came in there trying to interrupt his sleep, I would have probably got the cops, not the universe, the cops called on me. I'm trying to walk, right? I'm trying to walk back to Central Campus. Bro, where's my mother, bro? I was so hot. Mind you, it was 20 degrees outside. But I'm so hot that I end up unzipping my jacket. And then as I'm walking, I feel like I'm flying, bro. Like, I probably thought I was a bird or some shit because the way I was floating and like I was walking like, and then my jacket was wide open, flapping and shit in the wind. Bro, it was a movie, bro. It was really a movie. It was like, I was in slow motion just flying. Like, you know how the niggas be flying out the plane or flying out a car that's about to crash into a wall and blow up? Like, that's how I felt, bro. I felt like I was flying out of something. My fucking jacket was my bird wings. I was just flapping around. So then I get to Central Campus. I get back to Central Campus, right? Let me hold it. Let me hold this shit. Ah, the fucking oil. And then I get to back to Central Campus, right? And this is when I really start tweaking. I have to ask Kiara to send me the video that she took of me because she likes to Snapchat document every fucking thing. And then I run into their room, right? I plop myself on the bed because I couldn't stand up. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I couldn't. I just couldn't. And then this is when I really started tweaking. And I thank God that I started tweaking there instead of tweaking in some random person's room. Because <laughs> that... <gasps> Woo! So then I start hopping off the bed and running around the room. Like, running in circles, running, screaming. I don't know what I was saying. The way how I was trying to think, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, I was trying to think about something, right? But then it would just flip to the next thing and then go to the next thing and then go to the next thing and then go to the next thing. I was like thinking about shit in 0.1 seconds. Like one thought would come up for 0.1 seconds and then it would go to the next thought and then the next thought and the next thought. And I was trying so hard to stop that shit in my head. And I think that's what was making me fucking tweak. Cause then I was going crazy, running around the room. I was trying to fight. I was trying to fight my friend Khadija. Um, I was cursing at them, all types of shit. And then at one point I was trying to throw up. Like I was, tr like I felt like I needed to throw up but I couldn't. I physically could not throw up. Like I like I felt it coming out, but I couldn't. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is gonna taste good. I, I have no idea, but I put the pasta in the thing. Stirring it up, stirring the pot, stirring the pot. And I was just so off it and Kiara. I guess she forgot that I was off it and forgot that, you know, the brownie is making me tweak. So at one point, she told me, fuck you. So I was like, fuck you too. <laughs> The fuck? But no, I said the bitch fuck you too because I was off it. I like, bro, I was off it, bro. And I woke up on some like, went to the bathroom. I sit on the toilet and I'm just sitting there like just trying to pray to God like, please, please get this high off of me. Please stop me from being smacked. I can't take it. I was just sitting on the toilet, bro. Just waiting, like my thoughts is still like switching every 0.1 seconds. Like I can't think straight. But then I just remember just thinking about that. Like, please, God, take this smackness away from me and then i just end up falling asleep right on the toilet in the public bathroom of the dorm could have got caught easily i woke up went to the lounge crashed on the couch friends came to wake me up got food went back to my dorm was still in a, com a weed coma <laughs> never the fuck again never again never again time for din dins all right y'all this is my rikers island meal <laughs> I've put too much the cream shit to put in the pasta. I put way too much, as you could fucking see. Let me see if this actually tastes good. I don't think it tastes good. This is my first time. I'm a first timer here, guys. Is this shit good? Wait. This shit is good! Oh, shit! <laughs> ah. <laughs> this shit tastes good to me. This shit is good, bro. 
Time for din-dins. What? Mm, tastes good. You taste good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, bro, y'all missing out. <laughs> Thank you to Mooney Menu for helping me with the recipe for this Rasta Pasta. Sorry this video is mad long. I'm doing the first draft for the video, it's like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do the final draft, see how long it is. But I'm gonna continue doing this in the kitchen series where I cook and um, tell a story or talk about some bullshit that goes on in the world today. I'm gonna try to do better. You get a camera view of what I'm cooking and then still get the camera view of me talking, you know, <laughs> technology advance. Um, but yeah, if y'all want more of this, get this video to 100, 100 likes. I'll see y'all. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.